What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got a little bit of a treat for you guys. Uh, I wanted to share with you and actually go through uh, the Blade Binge marketplace where people can buy and sell uh, used gear, secondary market, which is something that has been somewhat of a problem in our community for forever. Um, I've been talking with uh, one of the owners of this website, and I really like what they're doing here. Um, if you're like me, uh, it's it's not always the best experience to uh, buy and sell online, like you know, with other people that are you know selling something that's used, or if you're trying to to, to sell something yourself um, that is used, it's not really the best types of protection and just, you know, there's not a lot of confidence be behind uh, the places that we've had to do this in the past. Personally, I have been scammed um, on Facebook. I actually just talked with the owner uh, about this, but it wasn't a good experience. So I really like the idea of the Blade Binge Marketplace. Um, this has uh, a substantial amount of protection in place, and it's also really cool because this is something that you can do if you want to uh, you know, partake in the benefits of this website, you can do this from your phone uh, versus having to actually send your knife off and have it listed by the owner. Uh, apparently, you don't have to do that. Now, <clears throat> I'm probably not doing the best job of explaining all of this in the intro, and I don't want to take too much time because I really want to look at knives, and I know that's what you guys want to as well. So, uh, he will be down there in the comments answering questions and things like that, but I really think this is cool, and I think that this is coming at a good time uh, and offering a lot of benefit to people who have been around for a long time and also people who are new and just generally intimidated by the knife world in general and uh, also you know, by the secondary market. It can be kind of a scary place. This takes essentially all of the fear out of it um, and makes it really inviting. So uh, what I wanna do is shop, uh, shop through or look through uh, from the perspective of you know, somebody who's just browsing and, and take a look at their marketplace, take a look at the section that says grails, all this stuff, um, and uh, let you guys know that I will link this page down in the description of this video, you guys can become a member um, and start buying or even selling your own stuff on this website if you want to. So if you've been looking for how to do this, this video is definitely for you. Let's take a look at the general marketplace so you can get an idea of what's going on here. Now, if you're familiar with the secondary market, then you know that in some cases you can get a knife that is kind of hard to find for a super great price and sometimes it's going to be a knife that's really hard to find and is extremely valuable and the price is going to be higher than you what you would you know normally expect to see from retail so that's going to be part of it um, but you can see here caliber golden design uh, it shows the condition right buy now all of that i believe you can also in fact i know you can also communicate directly with um, the seller and if you're the if you are um, you know somebody who's listing your own product, obviously you can um, communicate directly with uh, people who have questions about your stuff. But a really really cool idea, and I like the layout. Definitely cool. Emerson Super A100. We have a modded Spyderco 15V Shaman. I own that. Um, that was the knife that I personally have um, uh, modded or I bought off the secondary market. Which again, I was limited at the time to eBay which I don't always have the great ex greatest experience with. The people behind this website are knife enthusiasts. They're knife people, right? So they know all of the general frustrations that have been involved with the sites that we've been forced to use in the past. And the idea was to create an entirely better experience or an optimized experience, I guess both optimized and better, um, with this type of you know, buying and selling. Spyderco Para 3, Cobalt Blue. We've got some more Emerson stuff. We Esprit, Ray Laconica. We have the 3 inch XM18 non flipper slicer. Uh, and then it has like condition things like that. Definitely, definitely cool how, they, how they've done this. Absolutely. Uh, what does this say? The next area right here shop new EDC gear. So they also have, um, I guess, is this how you do right here? So to go directly to new. Um, you have that option. Obviously, they've kind of like mixed it in to the website here. But if you go back here, I think it showed right here the shop new EDC gear. That option was right there where you guys can do that because they also have kind of their, I guess, their retail end of it as well. 
Um, but they have this Grails category right here. Like, uh, what was the one I was looking at? There it is. The Hinder Project X <laughs> with the Battle Black Titanium Scale. So right here, I knew that this was listed, but this is exactly why I wanted to look into it. Hinder Project X with Battle Black Titanium Scale. I didn't know that that even existed. So the standard scale, it says Blue G10, but it also comes with the tie scale. Number one, I'm a huge Hinderer fan, massive Hinderer fan. I've spent my fair share of time on the secondary market looking for rare hinder knives that I wanted to buy and create a build out of, or just that I wanted to buy and that I missed because they weren't available for whatever reason, right? Popularity, sold out. The Project X is definitely something I'd be interested in, and I've made mention in the past that I would love to have one in full tie. I just, I guess I haven't been following it <laughs> enough to know that they did tie scales for this. So this is a Titanium Project X Battle Black, which if you follow my channel, you'll know like the the hoops that I had to jump through to get a Battle Black tie scale from my Monkey Edge Frag XM18. The only one I've ever seen, you know, is the one that I have. I'm sure there's more out there, but my point is it can be a little bit hard to find. Um, considering what the Project X runs um, retail and considering what I know a titanium scale goes for, that's not a bad price at all for brand new in box, right? Obviously, you're going to have variation in pricing because it's going to depend on what the, the, the seller, the individual seller wants to list it as, right? Some people have all the time in the world to wait and some people can just, you know, like they just they just need the funds right then and there. But 625, I mean, I don't know what that would go for brand new. I think the Project X uh, generally is over 500 bucks retail and then a titanium scale, at least for an XM18, is 200. So if I'm gonna compare that to what I know to be the pricing for the XM18, <laughs> this looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm actually kind of selling myself on this Project X right here. S45VN is what I would want. Stonewashed is what I would want. What's the scale on the other side? Stonewashed, textured. It's really cool. I really like the black on front and the stonewashed on the other side. Super cool. I'm actually personally kind of tempted by that one. Hinder uh, Eclipse 3.5 Orange G10. And then this has a working finish scale on it. What does it say here? Battle, no, I'm sorry. Working finish one side, Battle Black on the front. There must have been a release for Battle Black scales here fairly recently. Um, but yeah, like that right there also looks pretty, 525. The, the nice thing is if you're here recently, I think the prices on Hinderer stuff secondary market has actually come down. So if you're new, probably, you know, if you're like you're brand new to the community, this is just going to be like, wow, that's a lot of money for knives. But if you have paid attention to the secondary market, specifically with Hinderer knives over the last few years, you'll know that it's gone from great availability down to terrible availability and ridiculous secondary market prices, especially for titanium stuff, right? Uh, there was a time where this knife would have gone for well over a thousand dollars on eBay. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's very true, right? So 525, brand new in box for a titanium XM. I'm sorry, Hinder Eclipse. Um, I think that's really great. And like I said, you have they they have like you know protection elements in place, making it. Uh, you know, a, a, a essentially a, a way to buy this stuff without having to worry about whether or not you're going to receive like an empty box or a product that's not, you know, um, what they said that it was or anything like that. So I just think that's really cool. Um, Hinder XM18 three inch. They've got another three inch right there. The Max Ace Vortex and M390. Haven't seen that one for a while. Uh, we have a Grimsmo Norseman Stonewashed Blue. Pretty cool. I don't know as much about the past market for the Norseman. I do like this, though. Uh, so he, this is an opportunity for me to give you guys my opinion on how to take pictures of your knife if you are um, planning on selling. The worst way to list your stuff is to take two blurry pictures and call it a day. Um, that will gain not very much attention. The way that this gentleman has done it, save for one picture, is perfect. He's done the lockup. He's done both sides of the blade. He's done both sides of the frame. Um, actually, multiple, right? 
We've got a full look everywhere. You've got the box, all of that. The last thing that I would want to see and that I think is really, really important is the centering of the blade. Now, we know that centering can generally be adjusted. But for me, uh, something that is always a, um, a huge benefit as a potential buyer is seeing a perfectly lined up shot that's not being manipulated in any way. It's nice and clear. Uh, you're not like slightly off at an angle to make the tip look more centered than it is, um, but uh, a perfectly lined up shot to show blade centering. Because when I see that, I know, you know, hey, the tolerances should be nice and lined up, you know, factory, like good factory tolerances, all that. There's no issue or anything. Um, but something to consider when if you decide to utilize this website and start listing your own knives, especially if you are brand new. Um, that's something that people love to see. Knife people, I mean, it's I say knife people are very particular. Anybody who's buying something on the secondary market is um, super particular, right? We want to know that the thing that you're selling has, um, you know, we want to know exactly how it has been cared for, right? We wanna know the exact condition. Um, so it, it would be nice to see <laughs> future listings. When you're listing this stuff, it'd be really nice to see centering and things like that. I'm just looking for an example of somebody who may have done this. Um, there's probably guidelines. I bet Blade Binge like, has something where they suggest like this is what we're looking for. McNeese Triple Lot. That's a uh, Triple Lot. Um, I didn't even know that that was a case. Here, here we go. Pretty good, pretty lined up, but we can see the centering right there, which is great. We can kind of go down and see. Um, that was straight down from the top, so we can see that the tip is perfectly centered. That's something that I personally love to see. But these triple lot um, collabs uh, are super rare for sure. Um, so that's something that I think many people would be interested in. Uh, let's see here, Olamic Whippersnapper, whoa. That's super cool. Uh, you don't often get to see one-off Wayfarers with Twist Damascus. It says TMNT Raphael. So one-off custom, never to be made again, hand-carved Olamic Wayfarer with Super Twist Damascus. This is the type of stuff, not everybody, but some people do dig and dig and dig to find on the secondary market. And the biggest issue is, I mean, this isn't going to be everybody's grail, but for the few people who... Are, would be super interested in that. The problem is, is that when you when you find that thing that you want, oftentimes you are utilizing a website that you probably don't have a lot of confidence in, um, and there's just not a lot of you have like that desire to pick it up, um, but there's not a lot of confidence in the end result if it isn't exactly what you expected. Or you know, the thing that we're all worried about is is it going to be a scam, right? Um, and you, uh, a lot of the, the worries and risks and things are just eliminated um, with this website because they have those protections in place, which is really cool. Again, this was, as he described it, a huge gaping hole in the community. Um, there's been a need for something like this for a long time. And we have, you know, a lot of people buy, sell, and trade on the secondary market and utilize, you know, like Reddit or Facebook. I got scammed personally on Facebook. I'm, sh I'm certain that we have um, plenty of people in the community who can uh, give us stories of getting scammed on places like Reddit. But it's not, it's not like every experience on those platforms is terrible. I'm sure plenty of people have had good experiences. But there are a lot of things that those platforms do incorrectly. Um, or just just things that should be in place and are not in place. So it's really nice to see have to have this all laid out <laughs> in a way that's easy to look at and uh, on a site that you know has uh, or run by people who actually care, run by knife people who have the ability to put these systems in place to keep people protected. So that's nice. Holt Haptic, that's cool. CKF Davlis Superconductor. Is it Davlis? Custom knife. I, I, I'm familiar with this model, but Superconductor Accents. That looks like titanium. Why don't we talk about the accents? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, definitely cool. I wish that we saw more Superconductor, right? Now, this website is not specific to super expensive stuff. That's an Evo 4.0, Evo 3.0. This one right here. So here's an example of something that you just can't really find very easily anymore. The 3.0 uh, 
right? This is the larger, this is the one that I have, except mine's the DLC one. But plenty of people out there who discover stuff like this late enough that they're like, oh, cool, I, I want to go buy it. And then you realize, oh, it's gone. So you're forced on to the secondary market, which, again, not a lot of confidence in the sites we have in place. But this is really cool. 590 bucks, excellent condition. And again, you can communicate with the seller to find out you know, if there's any additional things because everybody's got their own particular way of like, they have their particular questions about this and that and the condition and how it's been used. So I guess you can have the option to do that. Um, I'm not signed in at the moment, but you do have to have an account in order to communicate. But once you have an account, um, you can communicate with the seller uh, and ask the questions that you want to. Bird Barber, keep going down here. I see. So I previously I thought that this was like the end of the list, so I had clicked on it. But I can see you can just keep scrolling. Leong Ma Model 18. I have this knife. I own this knife, and this is an unsung hero of the large integral knife world. Uh, a lot of people ask me about this knife every time I show it. Mine's got um, the the Mokume uh, or is it, it's like a, a Mokume Gane Timascus, right? This is the standard one, which is really cool. Really cool. Nice little texturing there. This is a big folder. It's also an integral. I'm um, pretty sure 520 bucks is close to what they went for originally, if not a little bit less. So finding that guy in excellent condition is really cool. I don't think that these are still on the Leong Ma website because I think at some point I had considered buying one like this just as a user, because I love that knife. I don't want to use the one that I've got with the special materials. Um, wow, there's 25 pages? <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah! Hinder a full track spear point. Oh man, so here's an example. So this is, this is gonna be higher than what they went for, but these are rare. You know, not everybody's gonna be tempted by a knife that costs more than what they went for, uh, you know, retail, but if you want my opinion, my position currently is for exactly the right knife, I would pay more as a collector, right? So your temptation is going to be different here or there. Um, I love the, man, let's take a look at that real quick. It's been a long time. So here we go. This is a perfect example. He has an aftermarket. It's not. It's actually a factory clip, but he swapped out the stock clip, which I bet he sends with the knife, maybe. Um, but we get to see both sides of the knife. So you can see here, it's a factory clip, but it's not the clip that it comes with. It's something that he bought separately, maybe on DLT or the Hinder website or whatever. We've got a close-up shot of the show side blade, the show side scale, the rear side blade, the rear side scale and clip, another shot of the pocket clip, just to, you know, if you're looking for like marks and things on the clip or whatever. We have the lockup, which is perfect. Doesn't look like it's moved from factory. And then we have a shot of the centering and the ability to zoom up and see that it is legit. I mean, that's about as close as you could possibly get to getting it lined up perfectly for centering. So it looks really good there. Excellent went back. We have another, oh, no, this is right there. And then it sh there's a close-up of the tip. It actually looks a little flat right there. But I appreciate that the seller showed that. I wonder if there's, so there's an, an opportunity if you have a um, an account here. I would ask a question about that tip. For sale, a hinder full track spear point, blah, 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 blah. Has flame turner clips, does not, does not include original plane clips, so there we go. Has been carried, but in excellent condition with a great action. Clip has a few light marks at the bend, and the blade seems to have lost the acute very end of the tip. The benefit of this is that the lister is being completely and totally honest about it. So while some people might still be tempted for this in particular, a lot of people are go, you know, thanks, appreciate the honesty, we can move on here. But I like this. I like how this is laid out. This being listed on Facebook would just say, hinder a full track, like new in box. And that would be it. And there would be a few blurry pictures. Um, so I, this is the type of listing that I appreciate, right? Even though I got enough information there to know that me personally, I would not be interested in that anymore. But I appreciate it, right? Hinder or fire tech. I haven't seen those for a little bit. Bronze, titanium, rare, and there's a price drop. That's a full tie fire tech. We have a, a Koenig Arius Gen 4 Batch 1 for 620. <laughs> oh, boy. 
that's like the exact, almost exactly the one that I'm looking for. It looks like it's been carried a little bit, right? But in pretty good shape. Man, let's read about it. Good to excellent condition. First batch of Gen 4 RS Smooth Tie Scales M390. Burnished bevels. Great action centered solid lockup. Very lightly used. Listing as good condition. Only because one of the faint snail trail on the clip. Blah, blah, blah. I think 620 bucks is a great price for that. I didn't expect to see an Arius on here. That's awesome. All right. Moving on here. Matching pair of Wii 601X. Praetorian T. The rare serial number is 003 MP EDC rel There's a ton of stuff on here. Uh, not stuff not stuff that's going to interest every single person, but especially collectors. That's the 0452 uh, M390 in blue. Super cool. Brian Brown Jaeger, Sandrine's Monza Zirconium. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, that's great. Demco 8020 Slicer, Aluminum M4, Stonewash, Knife, Extra G10 Scale. Super cool. Super cool. There's tons of stuff on here. Reloaded 8020.5. Transparent Knives Regrind. I was going to see Magna Cut at 65. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I told, I told the owner I'd probably do a 20-minute video. I could easily turn this into an hour. I did not know there was this much stuff here. Limited sprint run of the 0562 and CTS 204P steel. Super cool. I love rare ZTs. XM24 Bowie. Factory Edge never dismantled. Peter Martin Voyager. Holy moly. Microtech Marfion Custom Matrix. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is just going to turn into me buying stuff off the website. Ugh. Okay. All right. Let's lock in here. Strider SNG Magna Cut. Have to take a look at this. Oh my gosh. I love those scales. Is that factory or is it purchased from Arizona Custom? Hopefully someone else can appreciate them and I can use the money for tuition. Extra condition, no box, which is normal. By the way, if you've ever bought a Strider knife, they don't have, they don't have boxes, right? They just have like packaging. Light reprofile near the tip, spine only, the edge is untouched. Strider SNG fatty, right away. Um, ooh. Purchase from Arizona Custom, blah, blah, blah. So same thing, same seller. Uh, knife has barely been carried, new condition, no box. So to the seller of this, if you had a picture of the centering, I might actually, this is another one that I personally would be interested in. I've been looking for a fatty SNG for a long time. The the perfect one, right? Gunner grip. It looks like we have three actually from Arizona Customs. <coughs> so I can tell you right now, the person who bought these definitely paid more for them on Arizona Customs than he's selling for uh, selling them for here. Um, so that's pretty cool. Rockstead Higo 2. I'm sorry, Higo X for 900, which is substantially less than the 1200 that they normally go for. Brand new in box. Very cool. What else? Looking for anything that catches my eye right off the bat here. Medford Marauder H-Frame and S90V. Very cool. Ooh. Uh, Strider J2, a.k.a. XL Jibble price drop. 700. Those are cool. Those are also gigantic. McNeese. Only on page four. Uh, 8020S V2 full flat grind. Brand new in box for 530. Not bad. Expected to see those. Uh, a bit higher than what we would see for retail. Definitely cool to see him on here. So if you've been hunting an AD20, there's a really cool uh, Shiro F95 Turtle Gen 3, like new in box. Love this. Just want to see some more pictures here. Love this. Pictures. Really, really good. Just the, I mean, like, you know, everybody's going to be taking their pictures in different areas, but... Being able to see everything from multiple angles is really, really cool. <laughs> the 0801 BRZ. Haven't seen one of those forever. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That one's probably brand new. Oh, the limited sprint run. What is this? This is factory? I've never even heard of this. This is not custom. 
Huh. Okay. I didn't even know they did that one. <laughs> I honestly thought that this website would have like two to three pages of stuff to look through. Man. Kirby Lambert, Riot Damage Steel, Zerka Tire. Remember when that one came out? Bestex Supernova. Never even heard of that. Herman Custom Slim, Timascus, and looks like Damage Steel. PM2, Carbon Fiber, CPM 154, and S90V. Is that a composite blade? Yes. Also, did not know that they did this. Ha! I did. I had no idea. So the blade is literally both. Uh, I mean, I've seen Spyderco composite blades in the past, but I didn't know that they did a version of this with CPM one fifty four and S ninety V as the edge. Very cool. Oz Machine Company Roosevelt sitting there. No surprise that that one is way up high, right? Uh, secondary market pricing is going to be like that sometimes. It's going to. I mean, it just. Uh, it, they're only interested in that one. If, if a thousand people don't like the price and one person does, well, mission accomplished, you know. Uh, this is the exact same auto that I have, the full tie XM18 three and a half inch. 0452 G10 Sprint Run. Some of these, I won't, I'm, I'm curious about if they're actually like this or if they're customized. says G10 handle. Did they do it factory in bronze? There's a bunch of ZT knives that I just didn't know about at all. Wasn't, wasn't, um, here's the, the Hephaestus in 3V. Oh man, the gold and black. How cool. <laughs> There's plenty of stuff here. Plenty of stuff here that's from the recent knife world. Evo 4, all black. Hold on. Is this the, oh, this is the Tanto one, okay. There's plenty of stuff here that's from the modern, like recent knife world, and plenty of stuff here that's from the modern, not so recent knife world. The stuff that collectors that are similar to me are really looking for. Stuff that they wanted maybe at the time and didn't have the opportunity, but now wanna pick up. Or stuff that, as you've watched me discover here, stuff that they didn't even know existed. So. They tell me, or they told me that they refresh, look at that, a Strider three-quarter AR Tanto. Need more pictures there, guy, but that's a cool knife. Uh, they told me that this refreshes pretty often. So I think he said that there are seven, maybe I'm wrong. If I'm exaggerating this, I'm sorry. I think he told me there are 7,000 users currently. That's a lot of people. Enough people that you can expect to see new listings pretty regularly, right? So... It's nice to see like two and a half times the listings that I was expecting to see there. But I love all the different, we're already at 30 minutes. I love all the different, I love how this is laid out. This is incredibly easy to use, budget friendly. It's probably not a, I feel like there's probably not a, not a ton of listings here. I think I looked through this one. No, I'm wrong. There are actually quite a bit more. So if you're like, yeah, all the uh, really expensive stuff is cool, but I would just like to, you know, kind of mess around with um, some used inexpensive knives. There's tons of stuff here, right? Not stuff, again, that everybody's going to be interested in. But if you've got a smaller budget or you just like taking a look at random stuff here or there, I mean, there's some Mannix 2 scales for 15 bucks. Looks like probably the original set. Uh, there's same with the uh, OEM uh, smock. Like if you picked up a, okay, I have a G10, um, like a, uh, it's a Blade HQ exclusive M4 smock, and it came with those booger green uh, scales. I don't mind that color, but if you did and you thought I'd like the carbon fiber better, there you go, 15 bucks OEM scales, right? Gonzo stuff, also going to be really inexpensive. But yeah, a whole section of the website dedicated to ultra budget, like budget and ultra budget stuff. So that's awesome. Yeah, there's tons of listings here. I don't know why I thought it just cut off uh, so much earlier. Custom dyed QSP Penguin, 23 bucks. Super cool. Yeah. Really like the, the, the um, layout of this website. And like I said, 
I'm going to check through Grails here now that I know that this goes on further than more, where I had clicked. Um, oh. oh my gosh. You're killing me. You're killing me. Man. I know that's 2200, but if you know what that is, right? The layout is so, so simple, so easy, right? The uh, one of the creators of the of um, Blade Binge will be down in um, the comment section uh, answering questions for people. Um, but yeah, once you have an account, full dress boa. Uh, do they still sell those? Super cool. I have this knife and I love it. Once you have an account, you can ask questions, contact right, or if you have stuff that you want to sell. Apparently, this works everywhere in the world. Um, so if you have something that you want to sell or you want to list, right? Um, obviously there are, um, uh, things you have to go through on the website, uh, and get set up, but, um, it's very simple, very straightforward. Um, you can do it all from your phone, um, and you can start buying and selling today. I, th I don't think it takes super long, but I think this is a really good idea. And we, we desperately need a better place to do this. Uh, desperately there is there, there's just way too much there's way too many people out there manipulating the bad systems in place and and scamming people right um, this is something that you know scares off so many new people and so many people that have been around for a long time um, I just think this is a really great idea so I'm sure that I miss stuff but um, I you know, honestly, if, if we, you know, it, it ends up that they're, you know, they gain a, a bunch of new members and tons and tons of people are making listings. This would be really fun to go through and just, because I don't have, I've got plenty of uh, content on my channel where I talk about existing, you know, retail sites and I go through their new stock. But I don't ever do this for the secondary market because I don't like the layout and I just, I don't like the platforms in place where this is done. And so as much as I do it on my own, I just never thought it would make for fun content. But this is actually super cool. And there's stuff on here that I am immediately tempted by personally. So I urge you to check this out. Consider making a, uh, at least take a look at the website. But, you know, if you like it, consider uh, making a profile um, and, uh, you know, being a part of this community over here. This is really, really cool. That's going to be it today, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Like I said, links for this website down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.